Hello, welcome to the latest episode of Through the Pages, my book review show. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. If you want to do a little like, hit the subscribe button, that stuff is super helpful. As I'm new to YouTube, get in the habit of what it takes to kind of cultivate a channel and appreciate any of you who are rocking with me through this. Um, I am really excited to talk about this book because I think it's the type of book we need more, um, more of. And the book is Ecotopia by Ernest Kallenbach. So this book right here, as you can tell from the title, it's kind of the opposite of what we have so much of right now. Um, I feel like there are just, there's an abundance of TV shows and books and movies and, and, and movies with the, or, and, and music with the theme of just dystopian life. And we have a lot of that in, in reality. Um, I like, I've personally never watched an episode of Black Mirror because it, like, life is already pretty intense in that direction. I don't need to see what happens when we go further down that road. So um, this is the opposite of it. This is if things went really well with kind of an environmental slant, which is kind of at the core of so much stuff. So this, it, it was a challenging book in, 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 in a sense. There, so there's basically two narratives going on at once. Basically he's, it's set up where it, it's like him sending reports, but then also his just actual time there. I'll, I'll give you a little bit of, of, of preface on, on, on how these two stories get to be, where this is, it's a lot like a Kurt Vonnegut novel, um, not in the non-linear sense, but just in the, the style, in that it's like a, the book is a man's report of life, like not like a narrator who's absent from it. Um, I, I ebbed and flowed from liking that style and not liking it. I found that basically this is a reporter who, the, the story of the book, it is a novel, so I, as you can tell, there's not a, a real ecotopia on earth to, to base this on, but... This came out in 1975, and it basically is, is as if California and kind of surrounding areas seceded and became this ecotopia, and then left the rest of the United States. And so this is like 20 years since that has happened, and they're sending in a reporter to kind of take a look around, see what's going on, we want to meet with your, your president, your people there, your scientists, kind of see what's going on, and... So it was like his correspondence sent back, but then also his like personal journal of what he's feeling and experiencing, a little bit of romance in there, you know. And that narrative I could really enjoy. The, his like reports being sent back or his, his columns for the magazine, they had all of the what makes Ecotopia Ecotopia type stuff in it, which was the difference between our society, which was fascinating in a sense to see it like rolled out and not in such a bullet point way, like this is what we need to change, but of just like, we do this because we no longer do this. We make plastics out of plants because we no longer use that. Like, and it, it was interesting to see, but it did feel like just an explanation. Like it, it was just kind of like, this is, this is what it is, this is what happened, then they do this, they do this here, like, so it, 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 it was kind of clunky to read, it, I guess would be a, a way to put it, I, I was very aware that I was reading while reading it, um, and that, that's something, you know, in a, especially in a novel, you really want that to fall away, you just want to, like, be sunk into it, and then be like, oh, wow, it's, I've been reading for three hours, like, that's the best type of novel, I couldn't get that type of steam off of this, but I was, like, I would put it down and go, you know, start making dinner or something and be like, man, I kind of want to read more on that. Like just out of curiosity for the, the world there. And it does have that sort of science fiction style to it in the sense that it is very clearly articulating a different world. And so I can see where you get those sci-fi books that are thick ones and there'll be 20 in a series and you're just like, how is there that much story? But it's like, it's not really story or the, I guess the world is the story. So the more detail you put into the world, that is telling the story, which in this case was pretty simple. I'm visiting this place, checking it out, fell for a girl. You know, um, I just, I, I think I would like more of his personal like feelings in it as a reader 
but as the author, I understand needing to convey more of Ecotopia through the writing or his writings in it. Um, the book has a big following or, or maybe like cult classic is the, the term for it. Um, there's an endorsement on the back from Dennis Hayes, the original coordinator of Earth Day. And this came out in 1975. It seems like it was a big hit back then. I think this, I'm trying to think of how it actually got onto my like books I want to read list that I keep going and somehow it was recommended where it, it I got it recommended and then it came from another recommendation in a short span or something and I was like okay this this is solid keep this one here and for whatever reason I was like I keep an eye out if I see it and stuff and thinking like used shops but never came across and eventually was like all right thrift books hit me with it and there is actually a prequel that came out after which I feel like is a very sci-fi thing um and it's a lot bigger, um, but <laughs> I probably won't read it. Um, that's not to say that this wasn't good, that this isn't a book I'll recommend. There are, like, as I was reading it, there were certain friends where I was like, I want to put this in their hands. They would find this fascinating. But it's not, like, maybe it's self-conscious, but, it, but uh, to I, I, I'm tentative to, like, put this book out and be like, it's good, and have someone read it and be like, do you think that's a good book? You think that's good? Like, haven't you read better books? Like, it's it's a fascinating idea, I would say. I don't like necessarily reading like explanation of another place that's fiction that ultimately just doesn't aid me in any way. Like, I I, I don't know. And, and maybe at that time, this was probably a little more revelatory, I think, on, on some of the ideas in it. But now we've you know, we're, we're about 50 years past that. And some of our own innovations are not necessarily like greener, but just, I don't know, <laughs> because they're real. Like I, I could, I could read about that more. I, and it, it was in this book that, I don't know, it, it was so disconnected, I think from this, that I couldn't really marvel at the difference because it was just, it was too different to even be real in some ways um and it's fic i realize it's fiction and and like vonnegut would get into that sci-fi adjacent style a lot and i liked it and that was my little signifier like oh i can see how parts of sci-fi i could get into this also opened my eyes to the parts of sci-fi that i don't necessarily like that i don't want to just keep building that world through details in in a sense but his feelings on it in the way that his American ideals were contested, not only in like fundamental, should we make this out of this, but just in his approach, like in, they had, you know, a 20 hour work week in Ecotopia. And, and he would say he had a hard time even telling when someone was working because they'd be just chilling and talking with friends or, you know, doing dishes, but like really digging into conversation and stuff at the same time. And so it was like, are you, like, what's getting done here? And, and those sort of like, feelings were a more fascinating difference than the fundamental like we don't use paint because it's made out of chemicals and then we'd have to buy those and do this whole thing and now we just don't participate in that and like that th that was in a novel idea but hearing the more emotional difference between the the american and the ones who had seceded and then spent 20 years going into how do we make the earth a better place um the earth in our lives a better place and so that 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 difference was more interesting to me and what kept me drawn into the book um like the the novel element of it like the like the story or like building up to the ending like that wasn't really hidden for me it was more the concept of the book and yeah so it's not like like I, I looked into Ernest Kallenbach. He had, he's written a little bit of other stuff. I'm not really drawn to it. I would say, like, if I saw e the the prequel, this came out in 1975. The prequel came out in 1981. It was Ecotopia Emerging. If I, like, saw it out in a shop someday and it was there, she would, like, I might snatch it up, but I'm not going to go out of my way to order it. I'm not, like, looking to follow this up. Like, like I have one. Um, I read uh, The Talented Mr. Ripley last year, and I have on my shelf now... Ripley Underground, I think that's it, the second one in it. I knew it was like, I want to continue this. It's not a series I'm like, oh, give me that next one, but 
I am going to read that series where this isn't, I don't, I don't feel that draw, but also like, I don't see rave reviews of the other one. And it's not that I'm basing this off of reviews. I just think that the, the concept of this is what was the hit. And then for people who are really into it, the Ecotopia emerging really, as you would imagine with a prequel, it was basically just like leading up to how the secession happened. And so my feeling on it is that I'm kind of at my capacity for politics right now. Um, I'm trying to campaign as much as I can in the local elections, and I know that's draining in its own right. So I am not like leaning into other stuff politically these days to leave more energy for that. And so I don't want to read a fictionalized story of how California seceded. To me, there's just not a lot there. If it was like written by someone who I really liked their writing, I would feel differently. But that's there's nothing really calling me to that. Um, if I do read it, I will post a video for sure. But pretty likely this will be the only Ernest Kallenbach that I uh, read or review on here. But I'm glad I read it. I, I, I got like 30 pages in and thought, maybe should I not read this? But there was that little hook there still in, in, the, in the, the differences. And so I, I'm glad I stuck with it. I'm glad I finished it. I'll probably loan it to someone, but with a lot of explanation on, on what, what the lay of the land is there. Um, yeah, not one of my favorite novels, but an important novel. And it's one that I think sitting on a shelf like, catch your eye and then like, I don't know, got me thinking. So it did things the novel was supposed to do. Um, I have another book review I'm filming possibly right after this and having posted soon that I'm very excited about. So I always feel bad when I have a book review that's like, it was okay. Like, I, I feel like I should only have like important things to share, but I do think this was an important book. So the next one will be more nonfiction and where I'm going deep on it. It's about drugs. One of my favorite things to talk about. So yeah. Stay tuned. Thank you for rocking with my channel. It's going to be all types of books on here, and I'm really excited about that. So thank you for support. If you like, that's great. If you subscribe, I really appreciate it. I watch the, that little number go up and up, and it's, it's really exciting. I'm not judging this YouTube channel off of the numbers right now. I'm looking up percentages. So like, it raised 25%. Like, that's huge. I don't care if that means it's 12. Like, that's big. So I'm, I'm very excited about this YouTube channel, and my goal for it for 2021 is to just have 50 single book review videos on here by the end of the year. So about one a week. I read 81 books last year, but that was all quarantine where I think some of this one we're going to be maybe a little social coming back. Still, a book a week is not too much. Um, the thing is, if you read a book and all of a sudden it's like, ugh, not even worth reviewing, but I'm trying to avoid that. I'm trying to, trying to pick a little better. Um, so yeah. If you have any books based on Ecotopia or past books I've reviewed that you think I should check out, drop a comment below. Thank you for rocking with me.